so who's the authority? The authority is the government. Uh, the authority could be their father. Their authority could be ambition, uh, success, all those things of you think of with Capricorn. Uh, these people love to compete at a, at a subconscious level because we're thinking of the moon. We're really thinking of it at a deep, deeper level. Uh, and that's why I think this is more powerful because it's so it's so deep. The Capricorn archetype is much deeper with these people, so they they feel it more. Uh, they uh, they're extremely competitive. I think of another guy who has he has sun and moon in Capricorn, and this guy so. You think of Capricorn, you think of um, Capricorn Moon maybe as not being very sympathetic or empathetic. Well, this guy in particular I'm thinking of has a 12th house Pluto. He has a lot of Neptune, very empathetic, very sympathetic. If you need help, this guy will help you. Uh, almost to the point where I think he would take you into his house, I mean, especially if he needed to. Um, however, there's always that, in the back of his mind, there's always that um, Capricorn moon where he is um, going to think about his security. He's going to think about his ambitions. Uh, he won't, it's not, it's the difference. I'm trying, what I'm trying to convey is that the difference between like a true Pisces person or a true Neptune person, well, they'll just like, uh they may go like oh just give themselves over to you and like be very watery and emotional with him it's very much like he's gonna sit there and listen and he's gonna help you you know that he like he i'm trying to what i'm trying to convey is that he really does care but he's gonna do it in this capricorn way where he's not gonna just pour himself out to you and offer himself up to you right away it's gonna be in a very mature and responsible way in a very slow uh, slow thinking and um, I guess that's the way to think of it mature like he has a very much an understanding of how things work in life and he's not gonna just right away just pour himself out to you and give himself up but he'll give that intention he'll give that intention that he cares that he's gonna care for you etc kind of like kind of like a good maybe like a good parent you think of some parents where they have kids where they act they act they might put on an act to so that they don't want to go to school and then the parent will just kind of like okay yeah let's see if this is i'm going to be empathetic towards you and and uh but we'll see if this is really going to play out and then sure enough an hour later the kid feels better and he goes to school the parental influence is very strong with these people as i said they their sub subconscious security lies in the authority and oftentimes these people will be uh, parents themselves and they're just they're just um, they will offer they'll, they'll be a parent much much like their parents were to them uh, they you think of that conservative conservativeness they'll transfer that they'll they'll definitely transfer that over to their kids i think of another person who had uh who had a father who had issues with his father and in this life he uh definitely wanted to be like that super parent for his kids and he definitely like i would definitely say like being a parent is his main objective family is his main objective in this life um, and it's almost like that idea of like, well, I didn't get the perfect family or the perfect childhood. So I'm going to you know make that my life's agenda. Now, this also, this is not something that's very conscious. It's very subconscious when this is with, with the moon and Capricorn. Power 
power complex, strong ambitions. Here's the thing with Capricorn that I find super annoying. It's that, and people often misunderstand this about me, this idea of a power complex. Uh, I can't, I just, I can't stand it. And you think of with Moon and Capricorn, it's very subtle. Again, it's more internal, subconscious. And uh, the reason I can't stand it is because it replaces other aspects of life. It becomes the uh, overarching theme in life. And it can play out in many different ways. I'm not going to get into the many ways it can play out. Um, but I just, I maybe it comes from my disdain and hate for authority. But with these people, it's just, they might not come across as like hating authority or um, or I'm sorry, they might not come across as being the authority, but they, it's there. Like they, I think of Jupiter with like Jupiter and Capricorn, which I also don't, don't, I'm not very fond of Jupiter and Capricorn. Again, it depends on the chart, but like in general, Jupiter, Cap, Jupiter and Capricorn people I've come across, um, this is specifically this aspect of, um, this power complex. I can't stand it because... Well, if you watch my channel, you, you'll hear more about this, but definitely a power complex. Uh, and what makes it worse is that it's emotional. It's tied to their emotions. Um, whereas like a sun in Capricorn, the power complex is like more like their status. Um, just like the way that they are, they're just... A powerful they might be more of a power like an actual powerful person but the moon with the moon in Capricorn it's like they're trying to be powerful when they're really they're really not so we also have Mars and Neptune in a conjunction which um been talking about Mars and Mars and Pisces so I'll link a video down below as well and maybe we'll get into Mars Neptune in another video uh, maybe tomorrow. So I'll leave it there for now. I hope you enjoyed this video with Moon, Moon and Capricorn and have a great day.